is session two of the parables of Jesus. And the parable today follows the one of yesterday. It's the parable of the lost son, or maybe some know it as the prodigal son. And in this story, one son takes his inheritance, leaves the family farm and heads off to live a life of self-indulgence. And he has a wonderful time until the money runs out. And then he finds himself hitting rock bottom. And the only job he could get was to feed pigs. And he was so hungry that he would have eaten the pig swell. And that's when he realises how foolish he's been. And he recognises that he's wronged his father, he's wronged God. And so he realises that, well, he really has lost his right to be a son. But he would be willing to go back and be one of his father's servants because at least he would get fed. The picture then focuses on the father and the father's obviously been watching out and hoping for his son's return. And when he saw him in the distance, it says he ran and he threw his arms around him and kissed him. Now the son confessed his wrongness, but the father doesn't take any notice of that because he knows that his son is genuine. And instead, he reinstates him as a son and throws a mighty party to celebrate. This is another parable of the incredible love of God. The son took all that he'd been given and he wasted it. Now, everything we have comes from God, our abilities, everything, our position in life, whatever. What do we do with it? Do we use it all for ourselves? All for having a good time? If so, sometimes we have to hit rock bottom and it might be a financial rock bottom or it's more likely to be an emotional one or perhaps a spiritual bankruptcy and we begin to realise we've just got nothing left. Leo Tolstoy, the, the novelist, said how he tried everything. He tried fame, he tried fortune, the high social life, even family life because he wanted to find the peace and satisfaction that he saw in so many of the simple peasant folk. But none of it gave him satisfaction. It was only when he turned to Jesus that he finally found that peace and contentment. But when we do turn to God, there are no recriminations, just complete acceptance, love and rejoicing. Now there's another person in this story and that's the older brother. He's not pleased his father's throwing a party for this wayward son. He's very judgmental. He doesn't even refer to him as a brother. You notice he says, this son of yours. And he says he's been squandering his life on prostitutes, which is interesting because prostitutes have never got mentioned until then. It seems to be his presumption. Now I have to be honest and say that when I was younger, I used to be on the side of the older brother. This young son didn't deserve to be treated like this. It wasn't until I discovered for myself just how amazing the love of God is and just how much I am undeserving of that love. That's when I came to see the judgmental and unloving attitude of the older brother. God loves with an amazing love and he's longing and waiting for all who return to him. This song is written from the perspective that it is God speaking to each one of us personally. So listen for what God is saying to you.
changes as the stars go by. My child is yours, the return. 